Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Dafty. Welcome back to the channel and part 7.5 of this Let's Play of Horizon Forbidden West. Today we're continuing where we left off from the last episode where we threw a cauldron and just continue on with the main quest. I believe Minerva, one of the components for the Gaia thingy-mabob, <laughs> I know exactly what's going on, is in this like facility and she's trying to sort of keep us out. So I imagine we're going to go in there and drag her out really. Stick her into Gaia, and that'll be the first component, I think, of eight. So let's go. I've got some snacks, got some coffee, got some water, ready to have a lovely gaming sesh. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so since last episode, I've actually invested in some of these earphones. Yeah, earphones. Um, because I'm an international singing sensation. Alert! Restricted access! You are not wanted here. Oh. Nope. Sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. No, you're not. Oh, oh that's something to pull. To pull that open. And that one? This leads. So apparently these are quite good for, um... Like, long sessions Damn with it. earphones in. And they're a bit more comfortable. And to be honest, I was getting a bit fed up of having headphones because I feel like they're, just, they're, they're great to use, but I think when I'm recording and stuff, it's like, it just look ridiculous. I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. Oh, a bit of a uh, green. Is that it? Yeah, green. Green shine. It's very green. Okay, I can't get through there. Here? Looks like another part of the facility. Door is I need a key. Key code. Okay, back up here then. I'm assuming there's gonna be like a what's it called? Like a text log. What are all those cables in the center for? I don't know, Aloy. You tell me. You're the smart one here. Oh. Okay, what's all this then? Am I being silly? I can't get through there. Unless... Wow. Ah, I go up here. Um... Maybe? Ah, yeah, here we go. Looks like I should head up. I think I'm a little bit slow this morning, guys. You have to bear with me. Ooh, we're outside. I'm outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, it's like built into the... Well, we know it's built into the mountain because it's inside, but... It looks really cool. Uh, should find the right way to go. Up there. Close. Hmm? If I can get Minerva to cooperate. I can merge it with Gaia. Ah, over there. Finally bring her back. Whoa, what a gem. And start fixing the blight, the storms, and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they oh, the strangers, back? yeah, those those guys that were like almost like futuristic even beyond <laughs> what this game already is. Pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. Can you get up? How do I reach them? Pipes there. I'm assuming should I glide over there yet? Yeah? Oh, ooh. Should I drop? Because I want to get those. Drop. Oh, no jump. Don't jump. Then there's a flower up there as well for some dice. So we'll collect that on the way. Oh, hello. What's going on? I did not expect that. Okay, I'm not going back over there then. Oh, I'm guessing. Ah, can... oh, right, pro. It's a heavy attack. Here. There's the way back in. I just want to check if there's anything else. No. Is that a drop down? No. Because I really 
get scared of these. Uh, okay, what's this? now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Got to pull again. Oh, look at this! What's going on here? Hello, Minerva. Insert Gaia. No! Oh no! She's stolen it. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I cease. I think you'll disappear. She's talking. Her. Become part of her, like you used to be. Is it the cease? Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Aloy can just convince anyone, anything to do anything that she wants, clearly. <laughs> She's convincing AI Elizabeth to Sobek. open up. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. No way. To initiate heuristic matrix? Yes, please. Here goes. Oh, this. from her focus. So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations. And you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. That sounds Shall good. I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um, okay, but don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like, well... You. Does anyone? Oh, that noise the door made. Uh. So no fake this time. No. This time she's real. Borrow. So. This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia is still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. I didn't realize the focus, like, stores memories, clearly, that obviously Guy used to I have established a network see Aloy's life. Focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. Oh, that's nice. So what was this place? 
A regional control center, where Zero Dawn Progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area. Look at the animation going downstairs. Oh, look at this! This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or okay. maybe just a few. To start so with, this was supposed to be go ahead. the lab. I'm going to... That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Does that mean that I can override plow horns? Oh, but you need to get parts to do it first. Okay, so I need plow horn horns. I thought I got one. A plow horn primary nerve. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. I think that's good when though, because ready, return to the control room. We have much it'd be to pretty discuss. easy, I think. Just to go into a cult to be fair, go into a cauldron in itself is quite a, a um Looks like an office. A task. Correct. But this would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. And I'm just going to have a quick look around everywhere. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proven. I do love base building stuff, so I wonder how much... Looks like another office. I wonder how involved this one if will no be. If no one's ever been here, who built all this? Gaia did. With the help of machines. What? It's down here. Something in there. Oh, I've been down here before. It's where I first got into the facility. Yeah. Is that door open that's... Oh. Around here? No. Some kind of storage room. Good, because I need stuff. Give me all the stuff. Because now my stash can be massive. What's all this stuff for? This facility was designed to process an immense amount of data from the terraforming system. This is where it would have been stored. Okay. Aloy. Now visited all accessible Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Is she through here? Yeah. I know this place at the back of my hand already. Hi Gaia. Hello, Aloy. Hello. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. Oh, that's about the strangers first. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors, and a, um, a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Yeah. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Hey, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. What? The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. 
aliens tried to destroy Earth. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Wow. Okay, so what's so far away and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Serious? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless. Uh, I don't. Why make it seem like they failed? What? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. Why? Strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. What? That's mad. What the hell? We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. What a twist. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Thanks, Transmitting babe. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. Oh. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed. But it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the year <laughs> since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without that one's going to be it, tricky then. Delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other supporting functions the three. first, yeah. then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. Right. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Okay. Right, I feel like there's going to be a lot of talking here, <laughs> so prepare yourself. Subordinate functions. The three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. 
But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were irregular. Oh. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Oh, like bless nervous. their little souls. They need to be whole again. Exactly. Okay. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Yeah, me too. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. We know that All too well. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. Right. Hephaestus. You said you need Hephaestus it's to very save interesting life one. from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Given Hephaestus's importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me rather than the other way around. I was just about to think. Merge well, cannot be I was thinking until that. my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. Right. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Five. Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to forty-one point six percent capacity. Exceeding that of Hephaestus. Okay, just three. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions, which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. Thanks, Gaia. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Wow. Given the nature of the far zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. I was about to say, if Guy was evil, she could just use this army to just rule the world, couldn't she? If she wanted to. 
Okay. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus. And then the whole terraforming system... She could build their, they could build yes, their own army. The system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life. And then, potentially, to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. This is not good. Why would they do that? You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. Remember, kids, light years so is distance. How would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster, a mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. <laughs> Literally same. Okay, the clone. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As How your would they get their own clone? Demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... How could they have made a clone? Exactly. The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. Naughty. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This... this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. Mm. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. But yeah, Hades is dead now, so surely so we can't the get his only have been sent by someone part to, to give to Gaia. The system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent? I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. I bet it was the clone of Elizabeth. Elizabeth. So if the descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. True. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. Just get a few Thunder Jaws on them and smash them up. 
Um, I, c I can't tell which which ones I've done. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself. 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Uh... Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting. After a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Very logical. That's all of them. The biosphere. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve, water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Okay. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. The, to get rid of the blight, All essentially. All must be directed toward that end. How long do we have? How long you do have, have 2.3 days. Without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. I Makes me think of real life, to be honest. It's a bit depressing. <laughs> what can you tell me? Running a about few years away from when my predecessor destroyed our biosphere being irreparable sought physical processors capable of holding them so in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind ether is the closest and therefore might be the easiest to acquire however it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory my that knowledge of good. that tribe is limited to data i read on your focus but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Yeah, got that so far. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. The Vegas baby! A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Uh, well, Aether then, level 17. I think I'll head for Aether. 
then I will assign ether as the objective on your focus. Thank you, it's very handy. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Way of the world. Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Farzenith? Live up to her example? <laughs> I calculate you Absolutely. have a 60%. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Oh, thanks Thank for the you. pep talk, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Go west. Okay. So that's quite a lot of talking, so I hope that all made sense to you guys. I don't think I have anything to give to that yet, so. Open quest menu. Okay. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack. Nah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? They're all gonna die if we don't get this be stuff sorted me. out. They've been eating After rotten you, food. And we're the three best friends that anyone could have. We're the three best friends that anyone could have. Look at this. I need to head further west. To um get more of Gaia's components. Hello. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. Oh, a head thing's I'm not gone. Trying to shut you out. This it's like training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us. Catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Mm. Looking forward to it. I bet you are. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. See you later. I don't know where to get the parts I need. I'll have to go exploring. Okay. That's a lot of XP. 
Little crunch under my boots. You can see what this all this says. Seeds of the past. Broken sky. Okay, that's all those ones. Right, go to Aether's coordinates. Okay, let's go. We've got some skill points to use as well. Level 17 reached. And there's a side quest here. You! Let me take a look at you, stranger. Hello. It was a rumor. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. I am. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well, sure. If you're ever in need of a quick refuge, there's an ancient tunnel north of here that machines tend to avoid. I scouted it many times trying to find a way further in, but the way is blocked. Whatever the tin had in there, they kept it locked away. The tin. What's the tin? Is that like their gods? You got ten gods or something? Can I just... I want to save it very quick. Okay. Don't let the pretty land. Traveling peddler. No, that's fine. I'm good. It's deadly. Oh, it's night time now. It was quick. God, there's loads of um. Let's go. Going down. Oh, I can see lots of blight over there as well. What's that? And what's that over there? So there's going to be lots to explore. Oh, there's something over there as well. The land out here is sick with blight too. Ravagers, they're so nasty. We'll be able to heal all of it. Well, this guy is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. I have to be really careful. Oh, there's something... I'm sure I saw something sparking. Okay, there's, there's so much to do. I'm overwhelmed. I'm almost wondering if I just have a look at this over here first. So that looks like a little settlement, maybe? Either that or a camp. Though I don't think a camp would be this big. To not settlement. Gonna have to watch my step. See, it is settlement. Hi, folks. I'm gonna have to persuade them to let me in. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. Well, he's got hair like me. <laughs> by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. Race? Hair like blood. Definitely don't sound like this others. is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. Use my focus to follow you may enter, but on. mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. Can Aloy be quiet, please? I like him. He's a cool guy. He's uh, got a good sense of style, you know? There's something about him. I don't need a chaplain telling me what battles to the real battle is arguing with you. A lot of wounded. What's going on? What is going on? Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with a hair like blood. The Outlander from the Embassy. You. How do they all know about me? Regala's champion. He was one of ours. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our I like his armor. get paid with water. It's harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. 
But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? <laughs> More questions. What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First sawtooths, then ravagers. Now, the sandblasted Thunderjaw hit us right oh as we were God. machines into our pens. And this is going to be like a quite a high level quest, I, I bet, because. I don't think I could fight a Thunderjaw yet. They're like the big T Rexy ones that have got massive cannons the on, on the top. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. My second favorite parts machine now the after the uh, every other desert or whatever it's called. They're cool. Exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. That means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. Well, I must be dehydrated. Oh, he's gonna get himself I in trouble. I calling you chaplain. What does that mean? It means I've survived our youth and outlived my brethren in many battles. As such, well, his body I paint that's so the cool. Clan. Those who reach my age are meant to tell. share our wisdom with the young, keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> <laughs> you knew Regala's champion, Gruda. Gruda. He was one of ours. So was Regala. Desert Clan's pride and joy. Why is she attacking her own people? She feels betrayed. Your dog will be Next time I will take your shards. And she didn't agree with it. Who wants to play some machine strike? Uh, was that why? Oh, what was his name? Well, I do my the marshal at the embassy. Like he, I think he told us that and said that that was Hikaru's biggest mistake. That's the way of the snack. I think it was left behind by Marshal. Okay, cool. I like you. I'm a bit busy right now, so I'll meet you there. You'll be there a while. <laughs> He's a feisty one, isn't he? Feisty one, you are. Okay, so I'm going to call it there for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I was just thinking that this could be like a big story dump, really, for um, for this whole episode. So I'll make it like a half episode, really. Um, and then we'll get into some more of the main quest um, next episode. And I'll do some things off camera just to um, get up to speed, level up some bits, get some new armor and all that sort of stuff. So I shall see you in the next episode. We'll continue with the main quest um, with the next cauldron. So I'll see you then. Thank you. Take care. Ta-ra for now.